Scottish Widows Global Equity Pension Series 3. Let's analyse this little baby and see what the problems are. Once again, once again, too little capital, i.e. too little conviction. If they're any good, why have they got so little money in this? You might want more than 1.57% in Amazon. If you have 20 stocks and put equal money in each, you'd have 5% in each. Now, I've got over 5% in Amazon. Thank you very much. If Berkshire's any good, why have you got so little capital in it? Don't tell me you're diversifying and spraying and praying, let alone the fact that Berkshire itself has investments in stocks. So you're really not getting the positive returns. Bottom line, what you're getting from something like this, where they've really just given a load of money to their own fund manager, so they're charging you fees twice. What they've done is they've taken your money, charged you a fee, then they've gone and give it to their emerging markets team, who will charge you another fee. They're charging you fees on fees. That's a con, okay? Uh, if it wasn't, they'd give it to some other emerging market player. Apple, fine, no issues. Good allocation. Why are they so under-allocated in the others? Oh, well, because they're worried they might fall. Fine, so they don't have the conviction? No. What the problem is, they don't have the ability to go into cash if those fall because they're not allowed to, which is why in years like 2022, these companies and these funds do rather poorly. Have a look at how poorly it did in 2022, for instance. So much for diversification, so much for trusting the fund manager. So that's my problem with the Scottish Widows Global Equity Pension Series 3. It might do well when markets are rising. You could have just copied that portfolio. And if you put 5% in each of those that it had invested in you would have done better than they did which just goes to prove the point they'd over diversified and they don't have any courage of their convictions to begin with either absolutely bloody appalling